my name is Anna Friend and I'm the author of Who Will Love Me When You're Gone, the second book in the Big Little Hearts series from Scholastic. Um, the book was written because I watched a great friend of mine lose her battle with cancer in 2018 and the way that she approached this was nothing short of inspirational. She approached it with, with humour, um, she was very frank about how she was feeling and I know that when it came to preparing her children for life without her, she was really honest. Um, the book contains a message of enduring love, of the kind of love that goes beyond any physical presence. But alongside that, it has some practical mindfulness exercises at the back of the book. These are included because in my work with children, I think it's really important to take time to help them understand their own mental health, their own processes and the way they respond to things and give them tools, give them tools to be able to cope with times where they feel stress and anxiety. And these mindfulness exercises are a really simple way to do that, but also have an opportunity to connect with someone, spend some quality, calm and peaceful time with someone that they love. So I'm going to go through one of those um, exercises with you now. This is one that uh, really just relates to breathing. Now, breathing is incredibly important when it comes to finding a place of calm, of peace. Um, increasing our oxygen can just reduce our heart rate and immediately can make us feel calmer and more present. So this exercise is incredibly simple but incredibly effective. So I'd like you just to find a place where you feel comfortable. This could be lying, um, lying down on the floor. It could be in a chair with both arms rested. It could be um, sitting cross-legged on the floor. It could be in your garden, just in a place where you feel comfortable and happy. And we're gonna do some really simple breathing. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and then we're gonna exhale through our mouth. And when we're exhaling, I want us to imagine that we're trying to blow a really simple feather, small white feather across the room to the person that we're sharing this time with. OK, you can do it eyes closed or eyes open. You can do it lying next to that person, holding their hand. It doesn't matter. So we're going to inhale. And exhale through our mouth. And do one more. Blow the feather across the room. Now you can continue doing this exercise as long as you need to. And you can make it playful. You could talk about trying to blow the feather all the way to the stars. Blow it through your ceiling up into the sky. You could talk about um, any manner of things that will help the child connect to that sensation. And the more breathing that they do, the calmer they will feel. So I hope that you've enjoyed that exercise. Um, it's part of the book, Who Will Love Me When You're Gone? And it's just there to help support and comfort those who are reading the book. Thank you.